Hello, my name is Jared and I am the owner of Finer Homes Home Renovations. I do all manner of interior uh, remodeling and uh, a little bit of exterior uh, new construction as far as like sheds, pavilions, pergolas, stuff like that. Um, if it's small enough that I can do it by myself, I build it. Uh, and I am starting my own YouTube channel here to hopefully be able to help some people learn to do projects by themselves and just to kind of give uh, people uh, a realistic look into what goes into construction and to finishing out a home. Uh, I'll uh, add to this video uh, about a two minute video I took of the project that I am currently in right here in this room and the other rooms around it. So hopefully um, you can enjoy the content and there'll be much more to come this summer is already looking crazy busy. All right, we're in the upstairs here of this house I'm working in. <clears throat> this room, I already have drywalled. It's a fairly big bedroom. It's got a closet, which the light I think works. Let's see inside the closet. Uh, we got 50 sheets of drywall here yet for the rest of the upstairs. Nice big bedrooms. We got a hallway. Sorry for the mess. This is under construction yet. Uh, we got a bathroom right here. Some walls stuck in here. We insulated the walls between the bathroom and the bedroom at the homeowner's request to keep sound down. Uh, we got to get some plumbers in here. I actually subbed out the rest of the drywall because I'm too busy to do it myself. And then we have uh, a final bedroom, which again is waiting drywall and has a bunch of leftover construction stuff in it yet. So what I'm working at right now is putting nailers in for the drywall. You can see up there, poor workmanship, I bend a nail. Um, but I put a nailer in there for the drywall for the ceiling. Here along this side, it's such a narrow space between there and there. I'm not going to bother putting a nailer in. Uh, I got one right here in this corner for the drywall. And the reason for those of you that may not know a lot about construction, you got to have a nailer in a corner like this, when I framed it, this 2x4 was here already. It's for the corner of the wall. But there would be nothing to nail, like the drywall for this short little stub wall here. Um, there'd be nowhere to fasten it in this corner. So you have to put a nailer here so you can fasten drywall in here, fasten drywall in here. Um, when the house was built, this upstairs was not finished. But they did go ahead, and whoever built the house 10 years ago or whatever, put in the nailers already on the gable end of the house. You can see all the way across the gable end is done. Huge windows actually in the end. That's where we brought all our drywall in. Sure beats carrying it up the stairs.